Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Chaos Theory. I'm Euphoria, and uh, I think we got a new video right coming up here. The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morganholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh, now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform, will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo Lacerda was contracted by a third party to kidnap and interrogate Morgan Holt. His payment was in weapons. He appears to be using those arms to equip his own men and pay off debts to other guerrilla groups. Well, maybe Lacerda is a nickel anti loser, but maybe he's learned some things from Morgan Holt that we don't want anyone to know. Maria Narcissa is out to sea, so there's no escape. Board her, search her, find out who Lacerda's been dealing with. And then, make sure he doesn't have an opportunity to spread what he knows. Fifth freedom. What Morgan Holt knew about the matter... Alrighty, so uh, I'm just going to listen to Lambert on the beginning of these, because the rest of the people is just kind of flavor that's uh, pointless. But basically, we got to go in here and kill Lacerda. That's, uh, that's our job. And interrogate him, I guess, also. So we're going to uh, sneak through this ship here. And as always, I'm going to pick the stealth. Uh, load out. Fisher, we just pulled up Celestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. Oh, they're breaking the fourth wall. That was a reference to the first game where almost every mission basically in Splinter Cell 1. If you got three alarms, the mission was over, and that was a big joke for everybody. So, look at that. Playing service to the fans. All right, let's grab this guy. I think he's just a civilian, honestly, but nice let's interrogate him. Shh. What's the roster? How many men aboard? Total? There is 36 of us, I think. But that's including Lacerda and a couple of mean-looking mercenaries he brought with him. Where's Lacerda now? He was just here 20 minutes ago, complaining about his quarters. He said he wanted another room. All right, thanks, buddy. So we got to go uh, sneak onto the ship, kill Lacerda, and maybe interrogate him at the same time. Mostly just kill him. I think killing him is probably more useful. Uh, if you can see here, there's a gap between these shipping containers, and uh, we can take this semi-secret path. I do like the missions where Fisher has his awesome uh, balaclava on, as you can see there. Um, just so nobody sees his face, really. Even though if you're playing correctly, nobody should see your face anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna equip my sticky shockers just in case shit hits the fan here at some point. Um, let's take out that light and uh, come down this way. There we go. So what we need to do is go down those stairs. Um, that guy is not looking our way, so we should be able to take this light out without him being too suspicious. And uh, come down here. Ah have this man, who I think I'm just going to uh, knock out. Excellent. And let's try to hide him back behind these the staircase. He generally gets, like, uh, I've, I've always had a big problem with this guy being found um, when I play. Actually, no, this, this looks pretty reasonable. It's pretty dark here. Nobody will ever find the body. Now, as long as nobody comes down these stairs right now, we should be safe. 
Fisher, it looks like Lacerda is spreading around his newfound wealth, paying off debts with some of the arms that were delivered to him. You want me to scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Plant tracking devices on them, and we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay. Got some more crates that we need to deal with as a side mission. So far, so good. We were well on our way to 100% here uh, for this mission. <laughs> I haven't killed anybody by accident, which is always a good start. Um, oh, yes. Okay. Sorry about that. I just forgot uh, I had to go down this way for a second. Here's one of the crates we need to place a tracker on. So good job, that. Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. All right. Okay. Fisher, we just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holds. Oh, good. Extra stuff for me to deal with. Always nice. Uh, so it doesn't look like anybody's on the other side of this door, so it should be good there. Always pays to be cautious. Because uh, there could always be people I forget. There you go. First signs that this ship is flooding. There's an alarm. This is a guy we can clearly grab and interrogate. Noisy down here. Oh my! Makes it God, easy he to looks sneak freaked up on out. people. What is this hold? The auxiliary pump is here. There are some flooded compartments. The pump should be able to drain them. Thanks for the information. All right. <laughs> he is scared as hell. That's some good uh, eye animation he's got there. All right, uh, there's no real dark areas to hide his body right now, so um, let me just close this door. It always pays to close your doors behind you, because uh, guards, if they come across an open door, they'll, you know, they'll say, hey, why is this door open? And then they'll go and investigate, whereas if the door's closed, then uh, they won't care. So uh, I'm going to shoot out this light just so that... Uh, Nobody sees his body as soon as they walk into this place. And of course, I'll leave the grinding stone running because uh, there should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. All right. I love all these extra like side passageways in in Splinter Cell. There, it's always fun to find them because uh, it makes ec second and third playthroughs a little more interesting. Um, ah, shit. That is absolutely not what I wanted to do. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, that was a controller problem on uh, on my end here. Uh, sorry about that. Three alarms. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Uh, let's see if I can do this uh, without being a complete idiot this time. Okay. Now I think there we go. All right. Again, haven't played with keyboard and mouse uh, until this point, so there's some weird shit I gotta deal with. Well, if I do it wrong, we might sink faster. Then don't do it wrong. Easy for you to say. All right. Time for some hardcore Sam Fisher Spec Ops stuff. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I loved that when this game came out. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. That's the um kind of the non lethal version of that. The the lethal version you just come down and snap their neck real quick. Uh which is also pretty awesome. That one I just choked him out so he's still alive. Uh yeah, that's probably good enough. Was that oh, shit. Um, how about I take out this light? What's it doing now? And then kill this man. 
don't quite know where he, there he is. Let's see if I can grab him this way. No, doesn't look like it. Oh well, nothing here. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know how he didn't see me, but that's insane. Uh, let's take him out. Maybe maybe we can interrogate him, actually. Let me grab him. Come on. Oh. Noisy down here. Oh, my! Makes it easy to sneak up on people. What is this hold? The auxiliary pump is here. There are some flooded compartments. The pump should be able to drain them. Thanks for the information. Alrighty. Good. Uh, so I think this is the pump we need to deal with. Let's activate it. Good job. That'll drain the flooded compartments. Now you can search for the bill of lading attached to Lacerda shipments. Alright. Yeah. Find that bill of lading. I, I like how this that guy was working on the bilge pump for like, you know, what I assume is quite a long time. They were talking about it. He was like, I gotta drain the, you know, use this bilge pump. And then Sam Fisher comes up and presses one button, and it seems like it's okay. I don't know what that guy was doing that whole time. <laughs> if it's a one button press. You know. I'm betting that Lacerda's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I'll have a look around. Uh, there it is. I don't know how I found these things my first playthrough. Good work, Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lacerda was operating through a proxy. Who? Mercantil Costa Fuerta Seguridad de Panama. Offshore bankers? Yeah, the cigar chomping kind. Great. I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else Lacerda is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. Ooh. Secret area. I kind of forgot about this one. But, uh, I found it again. Oh, yeah, look at that guy. We're gonna sneak right under him. Hey! I do not think uh -oh. it's going to come out. So, uh, I was walking a little fast there. That's all right. They didn't see me. Um, I feel uncomfortable coming out without this light being gone. So let's try to knock it out. There we go. Hell, are we gonna do now? Don't look at me. I don't know. Jesus. What's going on? All right. That that may have been a problem um, for the hundred percent there, because uh, you know they f maybe found a body, maybe not. And there you go. Let's just hide these bodies down here. Also, shoot out the light just in case. Wow, that was extremely loud. <laughs> Did you see the, the that sensors in your suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. Yeah, I can smell it. Some kind of gas leak. Could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine room. Wonderful. And don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. I get the message. I'll be discreet. All right, uh, I'm gonna save right here just in case. Um, yeah, just in case the shit goes down. This is usually a, a mild trouble spot for me. Um, just because sometimes you know an enemy will shoot and then everything blows up. It doesn't really make much sense to me. It seems like they would be aware of the gas leak too. More than. Frickin' Grimm's daughter who's back in base, but you know, whatever. Oh no, not again. Uh 
Um, I believe I need to go up. Oh, Jesus. I know there's a much faster way and, like, safer way to get over there. I think there's a pipe or something somewhere. Actually, I think this is what I do. <laughs> yeah. That's the ultra-secret Sam Fisher way of doing these things. There we go. Perfect. Distracted him with that light going out, and then uh, sneak around the other side. I couldn't have planned it better if, uh, if I hadn't have planned it. I actually, I, I really enjoyed this level. I think. Um, yeah. Okay. I really like the next level too. The next level we go on like a sweet bank heist. So stay tuned for that one. That one's awesome. All right. Uh, I think what we want to do is take out this light just in case. Oh, there's actually a door. Okay. Uh, let me check out what's down this hallway first. I, I can't quite remember. I think there might be some secret something or others. Where is this? Where is that guy? Whoa. Alright, asshole. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, so that was bad, and... We're <laughs> I'm definitely not getting 100% now. But, uh, let me just move this guy. And they're down the line here. I'll just, I'll just put him in this room here. He shot me, and I lived, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, here we go. Cr crate to track. I, I knew there's something down this way. Let's uh, shoot out that light so nobody sees the body immediately. I mean, if they, if they, like, you know, walk across the body, then there's nothing I can do about that, but at least they won't see it if they just take a glance into the room there. And luckily we survived, so all I need now, I'd like a med kit to heal my, my wounds a little bit there. Usually one of the neat things about Expert is if you get shot, you're most likely going to die. I, I'm, I'm very surprised that I actually survived <laughs> that shot there. Um, it's generally a one-shot kill in, in Expert mode, so it is, it is very quiet here, so we need to be quiet. But, uh, Sam, you're near the ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. Okay. That's that's not what I wanted to do. Can you use this computer? Hey, did Lacerda pass through here? Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, complaining about the ledgers. Bastard. I hope someone cuts his throat. Lacerda is not a man to trifle with. I'm not going to trifle with him. I'm hoping Ooh. someone else will do it. <laughs> There's a crawl space. That someone would experience painful death at Lacerda's hands. Mm hmm. Where is Lacerda now? I don't know, and I don't want to know. That's awesome. I, uh, so I remember this crawl space now, but uh, I didn't. I didn't remember that. That that was pretty lucky that I uh, got across that. See, there is always a spot. Um. There's always like a super stealthy route available to you. I think we need. Do we need to hack this computer? Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Maybe. I don't. 
think so. I think we need to get to these filing cabinets, actually. I thought I heard the noise. <sighs> Are you coming to investigate, or...? No. Let's assume he isn't. I think there's filing cabinet right here. Man, this is bad. That's... no. <laughs> Alright. That is absolutely not what I wanted to do. I wanted to attack that guy. But, uh, oh well. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. I'll get back to the spot. Alright, we're back. I made it. I made it back. Um, so yes, hopefully I won't have a, a horrible uh, brain malfunction this time. Uh, that screws everything up. Okay, what? Do I, how do I want to go about this? I think what I can do is uh, we'll take out this light What's going on and hopefully there? distract this man. And he is completely unperturbed by that. It happens all the time. Just a shitty. Uh, the transit here. ledgers are forged. They say Lacerda's container is full of sugar cane and coconuts from a man named. Wow, that was a lot easier than I expected. The carrier calf. I remember that name. Nikaryakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arm shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, Lacerda got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? Don't quite remember what's in this room. Computer. And, uh, some medical supplies, that would have been useful last time, and a man. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna, not gonna fuck with that. I don't need those medical supplies. Oh, shit. Cool, huh? What's over there? I was not expecting that. <laughs> Maybe I can take this guy out? Come on. Yeah. Okay. So how about uh, just drop his body over here and uh, turn off this computer? There we go. So now nobody, nobody should find him. Okay. It's mild, mildly stressful for me. I, I can't remember if okay, I missed Sam. one of these. Judging by the numbering it's not really that important, honestly. I just wanna. See if you can find the rest. I'm just enjoying playing this game again. You know, I don't need a hundred percent, even though I I, I advertise this as hundred percent run. But you know, by now you should know that my promises mean nothing. <laughs> um. That is not an area I'd like hey, to go to. Thomas, have you seen Lacerda? No, but I heard him yelling at someone a few minutes ago. That's why I came here. Uh, what was he yelling about this time? Complaining about his quarters or something. Bastard. What was that? that? He's got a little cash. He's king of the world. What did you say? I didn't say anything. I could have sworn I heard something. Okay. You know what I don't understand? Here we are. Loaded up with Colombian best coffee in the world. And the coffee tastes like bad one. Exactly. What's up with that? <laughs> I, I went a little bit out of order here. Um, so I'm going up to the captain's cabin. That's like the special music that they wrote for this game. This is very suspicious. Well, the captain is somewhere around here. I think this is the captain? This is definitely the bridge. Hell. Yeah, this is the captain. See me, Captain. Baker heading 88 degrees, 6 minutes. Maintain speed. Si, sí, senor. Scopes are clear? Si, sí, senor. Gracias.
Jesus. Damn it. <laughs> All right, I wasn't expecting him to walk back into me there. That was 100% my fault. So uh, I'll see you in a sec. All right, we're uh, we're back, almost in the same spot. What does it mean to bootstrap? Uh, it means to accomplish something by using an entirely internal process. Why? The Americans say they will have to bootstrap a shuttle launch if they want to save the astronauts from the ISS. It's that bad. It's worse. They say that since the wreckage of the first shuttle is still attached to the docking module. The crew will need to spacewalk to the rescue shop. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, they have uh, this whole thing with the International Space Station, like, running at the same time as this game. It's actually kind of neat. Um, Alright, I got uh, slightly seen by somebody there. Alright, so we're trying to get the ship's bridge, and uh, I decided to go a slightly different route. This route. Um, I think this is the right route. I may have to go over direction here, but uh, we can figure that out later. This actually might be a ton here. don't quite remember. Yep, this is it. There you go. Alright, so uh, now we'll grab the captain for real this time, and he won't shoot me in the head. Uh, so that would be ideal. So uh, let's just wait for him to turn around. Or I'm just gonna grab him now. Nice. I hear you have a special passenger tonight. What that? Oh. I'm the guy who's here to cash the checks Lacerda has been writing. Where is he? That son of a he was provoking my men, so I gave him my own cabin to shut him up. That's very kind of you. Be careful. He brought some personal bodyguards. They look dangerous. I'm not afraid of Lacerda's thugs. No, they're not Peruvian. They're Europeans, I think. Bros. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. The pleasure is all mine. Everyone knows that European mercenaries are better than Peruvian mercenaries. That's just... So Lacerda well, is holed up in the captain's quarters. Where's that? Third deck, port side. The two interior stairwells are the only access to that deck. Okay, so let's go down this way. Uh, I'm pretty sure Lacerda's over here. Um, that guy, uh, he might find the body, but you know what? I'm okay with that. It's just the captain of the ship. He's just, you know, making sure we're on the right course and everything. No big deal. Alrighty. So, um... There's a couple ways to go about this. Um, I believe this yeah. is the correct. You know what I don't understand? Ah, uh, I know it. There's definitely something not all right about this. Okay. I know there's a there's actually a shipping crate over here, so um, I do want to get this. And there's a man over there. Let's take him out. Makes it harder for the dog to smell what's hidden yeah. inside the coffee. Ah, that makes there it is. Good job, Sam. Two more crates to go. Um, so it's probably worthwhile to uh, hide these bodies, actually. Especially this one. And that other one, because the other body is, like, literally in the doorway. <laughs> so anybody coming into that room is going to find him. Uh, hopefully those guys in the break room talking about coffee, if you if you could hear that, uh, don't come anytime soon. Um, especially while I'm actually transporting all these bodies. So let me be a little cautious here. Okay. Nobody are coming around the corner. Good. And I, I think I remember where the, the next ship, the last shipping container is. I think, uh, I think there's five, possibly. But uh, that was definitely one of them. Um, but we'll just put these guys in the freezer. You know, they're just unconscious, and uh, they're in a meat freezer now, so it's not like they'll die or anything. And uh, let's lock them in there. It's still non-lethal, right? It's, like, it's non-lethal, like how Batman's non-lethal. 
and how he can snap somebody's foot off and they're still okay. <laughs> he's not directly killing anybody, he's just making it very easy for them to die. Okay. I felt. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's not down here. Could have sworn. It's on deck two. Maybe it's uh towards this break room. No, I don't think so. Yeah, definitely not. All right. So let's go up. Try it down. Now it's time to go up. And uh, please don't run. Ah, there it is. That was easy enough. Way to go, Fisher. One more crate to go. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea where that crate is. Ah. Um, okay, so I think Lacerda is over here. Possibly. I never, never in my life have I been so insulted. I don't see why you're so upset. He got you past the inspection. You think it's easy to get through the canal zone with all the crackdowns these days? I don't care if it's hard. You think my job is easy? No. But this insult, forcing me to bribe an inspector out of my own pocket. No. This big shot, this vice president, Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medeiros. Ha! I'll show him. Fine. Mark my words. I'll make him pay. I'll make him pay double, or my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. Okay. I need another drink. So let's get prepared to grab this guy and interrogate him to death. Let me see. Okay. Perfect. Now where would that fat big stash is from? Shh. Don't make a scene. <laughs> Madre de Dios. Not exactly, but if it makes you feel better to pray. Please don't kill me. Please let me go. I won't tell them I saw you. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? Morgan Holt, your goons tortured him to death and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, no, it's not my fault. The only thing worse than a coward is a liar. You gave the order and now you're going to die for it. Please. First, tell me who contracted you to kidnap him. I... I don't know. I swear! I was contacted indirectly. I was warned not to try and find out. I'm sorry. It's not my... Good job, okay. Fisher. I'll inform the Joint Chiefs that Lacerda is no longer a threat. Your primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready. Um... It's gonna be extremely loud. So, uh, let's just extract. Uh, they may find his body before I can get out of here. But, uh, honestly, those guards are shit. His guards. Um, because I just walked in and killed him. <laughs> they did not protect Lacerda at all. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So I, now I think, uh, we just head out. I know there's one more shipping container left, but um, I'm not going to worry about it, honestly. Uh, we can certainly do the completion run. Well, I could, but I don't feel like it. If we run across that last crate, which actually, I, I think I'm, the last crate might be near the extraction point, there? if I remember correctly. Um, I'm going to save right here, too. Just in case, you know, I've been screwing up a lot on this mission. I've, I've died a lot on this mission. Honestly. It doesn't bode it well for the rest of the uh, <laughs> for the rest of the missions. Honestly, I'll get back in the groove hopefully. Do they not truly see me? I think he was just like shooting into the darkness <laughs> and hitting me for some reason. Wow, that was, that was intense. Okay, don't want to go that way. Just when you thought you couldn't get any All right, I need to get the hell out of here. Um, how do I 
do that. I think there's a boat around here somewhere where I can just leave. Here we go. There is an extraction vehicle right there. And uh, yes, I do remember now the last crate is down here. It is... It is uh, somewhere down there, I, I swear. I love the smell of the ocean air. All I smell is burning oil and vomiting. Is something there? I must be hearing things. Hear that? Oh, is there someone out there? Come out! Is the crate not down here? Yeah, there it is. I found it. <laughs> I see it. Um, Alright, I'm running low on sticky shockers here. Uh, let's use a sticky camera. I bet I can get these guys. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. It didn't get him. Okay. One last sticky shocker. Okay. All is right with the world. No problem. That was the last of the weapons. Let's get the hell out of here. Now we'll be able to track them wherever they go and see just how connected Lacerda is. Or how connected Lacerda was, am I right? Alright, let's get the hell off this boat. <laughs> this has not been <laughs> This has not been a very good mission. Alright. There we go, completed all the objectives, yeah, and uh, 85%, you know what, that's close enough, knocked out 16 enemies, uh, it was just those uh, three bodies found that were the issue when I knocked out people while their buddies were standing right next to them, uh, so that's, that's unfortunate, but not too bad. So thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this, hopefully you enjoyed me dying several times, and um... My name's Euphoria. If you did, uh, if would like to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I will see you on the next mission.